Hi guys, Melissa here, and today I want to talk about five things that you can do each day that will make your house seem so much cleaner and they hardly take any time. I promise it's gonna make things so much easier. But first, um, if you could just hop down and give me a little thumbs up on this video, that would help me out a lot and help me to bring more videos to you about cleaning and cooking and just all that fun stuff we do at home. Okay, so I have three little boys. We're busy, we're running to Cub Scouts and you know, tech fair and blah, 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 all these things all the time. My, you know, we're working. It's busy and it's hard to keep your house clean. I know, I know, I live it every day. But there's just a few little things that you can do that hardly take any time at all. And if you can get used to doing them in your daily routine, your house will seem so much cleaner. Okay, so first things first. When you get up in the morning and you're brushing your teeth, Keep a little thing of Lysol wipes under the bathroom counter and as you're brushing your teeth, you know it's two minutes of your life anyways, wipe down your countertops. This gets all those little water stains, splashes, hair, like everything off. And then by the time you're done brushing your teeth, your counters are clean and sparkling and you'll be so surprised how much of a difference it makes in your bathroom. Now after you do that, I want you to hop back into the bedroom and make your bed. I know, it's like my mom's voice is coming out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> I used to tell my mom when I was growing up, well, why should I make my bed? I'm just going to get back into it. The thing is, is every time you go into your room or all throughout the day just to grab something and you see that bed, a big hot mess over there, even if you don't realize it in the back of your head, you're going to feel a little bit of stress. You're going to feel a little bit of tension because you know that your room is cluttered and not tidy. And one thing, just making the bed, the bed's the focal point of the room. It's the big thing in the middle of the room, you know, the whole point for the room. If you just make your bed, you won't get that when you walk through the room. It makes a huge difference. So, and again, it takes less than two minutes unless you have like really a lot of pillows. I mean, I have a lot of pillows, but I don't know. Anyway, so super fast. So it's like 15 minutes into your day and you've already been so productive. You've already wiped down your counters while you're brushing your teeth in the morning and you've made your bed. Now we're gonna go out to the kitchen and I don't know about you, but I like to have a cup of coffee in the morning. While my coffee's brewing, I do this magical thing called unloading the dishwasher. That's right. So every night before bed, I start my dishwasher. Every morning, I unload it while I'm waiting for my coffee. And I'm telling you, this one was a mind, like a game changer, mind blow thing for me because I used, I used to, I hate doing dishes. I hate everything about dishes, dirty food, blah, yuck. And I used to put it off. I don't mind the dishes that much when they're clean. I just didn't like unloading the dishwasher. So I used to put it off and then all day long, dishes would pile up in the sink, pile up on the counters. And then one day, I, I think I was microwaving something and I realized that it took me less than two minutes to unload my dishwasher. So that two minutes while my, I'm waiting for my coffee or my tea or your oatmeal, I don't know what you guys do in the morning. That two minutes in the morning keeps your counters and sink clear all day, which is like, huge in keeping your house clean. So every night before bed, run the dishwasher. Every morning, first thing when you walk into the kitchen, unload it. And then all day long, if you have, my kids are trained. They're like, they're, they're very trained in this. They scrape their dishes out, they rinse them in the sink, except for the little one, he can't reach, he gets help. And then they put them in the dishwasher. Now, do I go after them and rearrange the dishwasher? Yes, because I'm a little uh, organized like that. But I'm telling you, when you don't have dishes piling up, filling your sink, dirty, nasty, gross dishes with old food on them and stuff's piled up all over the counters, you are gonna feel so much better. Okay, recap. Bathroom counters are clean, bed is made, your dishwasher is empty so there's no dishes on the counter. So the next thing, those are my three morning things. Those all happen within 20 minutes of me opening my eyes in the morning and it's a huge difference. And none of those took me longer than two minutes, okay? So I invested tops six minutes of my life, the first 20 minutes of my day, and it's making a huge difference for the rest of the day. Now, the other th two things I do um, are not necessarily in the morning. They can be done anytime. And one is to sweep or vacuum the kitchen and the main walkways of the house. So our current house has hardwood floors and tile with area rugs. So what I usually do is just sweep the kitchen and then the area around the front door, the um, garage door, and for me, we normally eat in our, our normal dining room, and so I'll sweep in there because my kids apparently can't eat without explosions of food all over the place. Um, and the next, um, if our, ugh, 
our first, one of our first house had all carpet. And so I would just run the vacuum literally like this is a 10 minute ordeal. This is not a deep spring cleaning. It's just to get the food crumbs off the floor. I'm from the Southeast of the United States and we get bugs down here, y'all like big bugs. And I have just always had a thing about making sure food isn't on my floor. Um, we actually had one house that had mice too. The army sends us so many fun places. Um, so take five, 10 minutes, sweep the main areas. I, we don't wear shoes in our house, so that helps to keep a lot of the dirt tracked out. If you wear shoes in your house, it might take a little longer because you probably need to clean more than just the main entryways and the kitchen. But so maybe that's like a little extra bonus tip, like don't wear shoes in the house and it keeps that dirt from coming in. And then the last thing I'm going to tell you, and this is probably the one that people are gonna have the most problem with, is not to stack things on your counters. I know, this is a hard one, even for me. I'm looking right here next to my laptop and my husband has a stack of things on the kitchen counter. But that's okay, we'll move that. So um, a lot of us will get the mail, we're coming in from you know picking the kids up from clubs or school and we're checking the mail and we get these school papers coming out of book bags and everything just ends up in little piles all over the kitchen counter and it just looks cluttered. I mean, it is cluttered. There's stuff all over the counter. So um, if you're going to put things on the counter, designate a spot, like one place to put things that you need to address and then take time to do it each day. Don't just let things stack and pile and stack and pile and stack and pile and don't have 4,000 piles of everything that you need to get to because it just stresses you out. You know, I know, you know, we all know. So um, have a place to put the mail, a place to put the school papers, um, and then take care of them, recycle them, file them, address them and put them back in book bags, you know, or have a, like an inbox to outbox, you know, so that you can just keep those things organized. Just do it on purpose. Don't have haphazard piles of things all over your counters. So to recap, five things, bathroom counter, make your bed, empty the dishwasher in the morning, which behooves run it at night. Um, sweep or vacuum the main living or main walkways and your kitchen, and then don't make stacks of stuff all over your kitchen counters. If you can do those five things, I guarantee you that your house will seem so much cleaner day to day. And none of those things takes very long. Now, backing up to the toothbrushing that we were talking about earlier, um, if, if that makes you feel overwhelmed or you're like, I can't do that, then I like to remind people, um, like my kids are six, nine, and 11. I have to think about that, that's right, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, and they come down for breakfast in the mornings and I immediately say, did you brush your teeth? And at least one of them is always like, <gasps> like it's a surprise that this is something that we do every single morning, you know, like wh what, you know? And so think of your cleaning routine kind of like teaching your kid to brush their teeth every morning, you know? It may seem like just shocking to you that you have to make your bed every morning, but once you get in the habit of it, you don't even think about, I don't think about whether or not to brush my teeth in the morning. I just get up and go do it. You know, so a same thing for my dishwasher, making my bed, I just get up and I do it. And oh, whew, um, it will make your life a ton easier. So if you're really struggling with it, try to add one thing a week. So the first week, just do the bathroom, wiping down the bathroom counters. The next week, add making the bed and so on and so forth with each habit. And by the time you get to all five, I guarantee you it'll be easy. You won't think about it as much and you'll be happy that you did. So I hope you like these tips. Please give me a thumbs up down below. Please subscribe so I can keep bringing you more of these cleaning tips and more home tips, recipes, all these things on this channel. And, um, Definitely leave me a comment down below too. Let me know what your biggest cleaning struggles are and I'll make a video to help you out with them. All right, bye.